Hey guys, it's the Silver Fox with MDE Outdoors and I just picked my head up and cape. So I'm getting ready to take it to the taxidermist here pretty quickly. And uh, before I did that though, I wanted to get a quick rough estimate of what uh, this guy's gonna measure out. So uh, this is the 10 pointer I killed just a, a week or so ago. And I went online and printed out a uh, score sheet here. I've got a, a Pope and Young Club uh, score sheet that I'm gonna drop my measurements down. I've got my, my flexible uh, measuring tape here that we're gonna measure it with. And uh, again, this is not official. It's just a rough score just to see where this guy comes out. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. Uh, again, this is a 10 pointer, normal. Um, everything's coming off the main beams here, so no abnormal points. So let's go ahead and get a couple main beam measurements here, starting on the on this side here on the right, and start around here. Twenty-one and a eighth on the right main beam. And remember when you're measuring for um, antler size, we go to eighth of an inch. Let's do the uh, left main beam here now and see what we get. Twenty-one and four eighths, so three eighths of a difference there. I'm gonna go ahead and get the uh, inside spread. Let's see what the greatest inside spread here is. Sixteen and two eighths. Now we're ready to measure. First point, four inches even, four and zero eighths. Put this one on this side. This one is four and two eighths. And the G2 here on the right side. It is nine inches even. G2 on the left side. It's nine and seven eighths. And let's get our G3. That is eight and seven eighths. G3 on the left side. It's eight and eight eighths. Excuse me, eight and seven eighths. Eight and seven eighths. And our G4 here on this side. It is one and six eighths, a G4 on this side, on the left here. It's two and three eighths. I'm gonna go back to this one on the, on the right side. It looks a little longer, I don't know if I'm... Yeah, I measured that one incorrectly. I said one and seven eighths. It is actually two and four eighths. Not sure what exactly I was doing there. So, uh, all right, so we've got all of our point measurements now. Now we're going to go ahead and get some circumferences. We've got to take four circumferences. Uh, we're going to do one down here at the base, near between the uh, first point, the brow tine. And it is four and two eighths on the right. On the left side, it is four and three eighths. Between our G1 and our G2, we are three and six eighths. On the left side, 
Left side looks a little thicker, so we'll see what it, it comes out to be. Yeah, it is. Um, it is. It is four inches on a four and no eighths. And our next circumference here. Yeah. Good thing is this guy carries some of its some of his mass on out. This one is three and six eighths. And this one is three and seven eighths. And we're gonna get one more here, one more circumference. And that is three on the nose, three inches even two and seven eighths. All right, so we've got all of our required measurements here. So now we're gonna calculate it up and see what, what it comes out to be. Uh, again, this is just a rough score. We're just doing a gross rough score on, on this guy here and uh, not an official measurement or anything, but just get us an idea of, of what this deer measures out to be. So you can get the, pull up my calculator here on, on my phone. And there's also some uh, calculators out there on, on some websites you can pull up to do this on. But let's do some quick calculations here. And uh, excuse my counting here. All right, so we're gonna measure or add up all the measurements here. All right, and the final score is just shy of 140. So I get like 139 and 7 eighths. Uh, six eight, excuse me, 139 and 6 eighths on this deer. So this is, this is a great representative buck here for this area that I live in. Uh, I was a mature deer, probably four and a half or five and a half years old. And so he comes in right just under 140 inches gross. And again, that's not, a, uh, not an official score, but it's a quick down and dirty just to get an idea of where it's gonna, he's gonna land. So uh, guys, I appreciate you watching and remember, Shoot straight and get your kids outdoors.